Hi, this is Xinyi. I'm just trying to show you how to use this academy online from the very beginning. So let's get started. And uh, I'm trying to do as if I'm like, you know, it's a brand new account. So I'm going to start from the very beginning. And I'm going to copy the username in and the password. Okay, so here we go. It's a brand new account. Okay, after you got in, they said here is the quest mark for help. So we commit. And then here's the setting. You can have sound or music. Actually, for me, I don't really like those. So the default, no sound, no music is good for me. And then when you annotate, you can choose different color for the pencil you're using and also the thickness. Okay. And here is a little dollar. It's a, when you do exercise, you get a um, sort of like a virtual digital currency, and you can use that to to actually to take care of your, your little alien, I mean, the robot, whatever that thing is. Okay, so let's go back on the front panel. On the upper panel, you will see that here is the grade. You can click, um, actually it says go to home, home, okay? Here's a grade, it's grade three. Um, right now it's grade three. So we'll, we'll have to figure out how to change to other grade, okay. And then when you just started, uh, the library and the theater are locked. Inside the theater actually is the class video recorded by the AOPS founder, Richard. It's a very nice video. I re highly recommend you guys watch it, but it's locked right now, right? And here's the library. Library are the books. Uh, it's also locked. Class actually is the exercise. Lab is the puzzle. Okay, so we're gonna start with class. And class, you see that has a little bell, right? It has the same logo here. So click here versus click here is the same thing. So I, I prefer click the upper panel. Um, so when you click, it goes here, right? But you don't know which grade. Um, the current setting has some default grade I set, um, but then you don't have to start from this. You can choose. Look, when you click here, it goes to all the grade you want. And by the time September 2022, um, the grade one potentially will be introduced. So right now we don't have it, only grade two to five, okay? So we're gonna start like pick anything. Uh, you'll see right here, make sure you remember right now we only see the belt, which is the class, right? Which is the exercise. But later on, you will see two more things come up. Um, we'll see. So I'm gonna pick a uh, distributed property for now, just for demo purpose. And then in each of the uh, chapter, each grade has 12 chapters. And in each of the chapter, you have about a 16 set of exercise. Each set of exercise um, contains uh, three different copies. Um, so in case of uh, first copy you did with your parents, and then you can do subsequent copies by yourself, right? And here's the little thing, the star here. Um, if you did the exercise uh, sufficiently well, the star will turn on. But then it will be like one star, two star, and three star. Three star means you did very well. So, and then um, the light will turn on. Let's see. Let's do the very first one together, okay? So the very first thing when you get into the exercise, um, it will give you instruction. So instruction you read by yourself. Here, the rules of evaluating expressions are called the order of operations. The order of operations tells us to multiply first and then Add and subtract from left to right. Evaluate the expression five plus four times three minus two. Following the order of operations, we first multiply four times three to equal to twelve. Then we add and subtract from left to right. So this is how we do. And then you can scroll down right here. Okay. And afterwards, you did that. You finish right. So we done. And then, so the, in, in case you need the instruction again, you click here. The I bring up the instruction again. And if you don't need it, it's close, okay? And here you can use this to do like, you know, scratch pad, okay? Does that look a little happy face? Okay, I'm gonna clear this. Here's the eraser. Very cute, huh? Okay, here we go. Oops, I don't need anything, but I already clicked. I don't know how to get rid of it. Maybe, 
yeah, click twice, it disappeared. If I highlight it, okay, I don't have anything. I don't want anything. So the, uh, the first question, there were like eight of them. So when we evaluate expression, we first multiply, then add and subtract from left to right. Okay, this is the third grade, so you don't have this uh, exponent, things like that yet. So, okay, just, just this. Um, higher grade, we use the uh, PEPDAS. Evaluate mm -hmm. the expression below. So, multiply three times two, give me six. So, this actually shows you how to do things in the order. So, the very first thing is the, the original equation, and then you put equal sign, means it's from here to here is equivalent. Okay, and then you, whatever the operation you did from here to here, you convert that to the result. So then do a minus six, give it two. And then there is still equal, so you do that. So when you did it correctly, um, they give you a solution immediately, okay? And then you click next, they give you the second problem, right? When we evaluate, when we evaluate an expression, we first multiply, then add and subtract from left to right. You know, it kind of, some people say, oh, this is too easy for me. But if you're new, it's kind of good, right? It keeps um, reinforced. So here we go. Evaluate the expression below. We do multiply first, two times nine, 18. I'm gonna purposely make it wrong, okay? I suppose put 18, but I didn't. I'm gonna purposely make it wrong again, uh, you know? Mm -hmm. Let me just make this correct, see what happened. We said that answer is incorrect. Try again. <laughs> so I'm gonna try again. Oops, I cannot click submit. If I click, guess what will happen? But before I do that, so take a look at this. See this circle? When you're correct, you get green. When it's incorrect, the very first term is red, but the other half is not. That means the first attempt is wrong, okay? So if I submit again, guess what? You already submitted this answer. It's incorrect. Try again. Okay, so that means the, the tool is pretty smart that knows that I, you know, didn't try make it better. So I'm gonna make this correct. Let me just, you know, submit again. <gasps> they said I'm wrong again. <laughs> and then they give me the solution. You see that? So if you get it correct, the solution shows up immediately. If you get it incorrect, the solution will show up after two attempts. Okay, so this then is this. This time you already see the answer. Okay, number three. So three times seven is 21. 21 plus three, 24. Oh, solution here. Number four. Okay, one times anything equal that. So six, nine plus six, um, nine, nine minus six is three. Okay, so this time multiplication is right here. Four times two is eight. Okay, here's a trick. You could do six plus eight first because they said we always do from left to right, right? But because addition and subtraction, it doesn't matter which one go first. So you do the one easiest first, like eight minus eight equals zero. Huh, that seems easier, right? So six plus zero is just six. Okay, this one is two times five in the middle is 10. Okay, you can always also do like addition first or subtraction first. In my opinion, subtraction first is easier. See, 10 minus eight is give me a pair of two, right? So and two plus seven is nine. So I will do that. But you could do the other way, you know, like seven plus 10 is 17. 17 minus eight is nine, so same. But I think uh, subtraction first is easier. Okay, this one, seven times two is 14. Okay, 14 plus five is 19. 19 plus eight, 27. One more. Okay, two times seven is 14. Five times eight is 40. 40 plus 14 is 54. You give me a result. It said that I answer, you answered seven of the eight correctly. So you earned two star. Two stars is not the best. Three stars is the best. You know, here is a little red. I usually try my best to make sure I got three stars. So this means I struggle, right? I would like to do it again if possible, right? So I'm gonna go back to here. And see that this thing, it turns yellow with a two. Here is not means I never did it. So it actually parents can easily see 
the progress by looking at this color scheme. And then you see there's a little bombs here. This is enrichment, means the advanced uh, challenge problems. Okay, so I'm gonna do it again. Just wanna see what I can get rid of the red marks, right? The instruction we already did, so I'm gonna start. And here, I'm uh, gonna just do quickly without reading the question, okay? Um, you guys read it, okay? <laughs> so it comes to five, it's okay. Beginning here, 19. Okay, this time I got it all correct, right? So you answered eight out of eight correctly, then you see three stars. So you go back to here, you will see that now I have three stars and you can click, it shows history. Um, your most recent plate on March 12, 2022, and I got two, I did it only in two minutes. Oh, oh yeah, cause I wasn't talking. And then lesson history for March 12, again, it was earlier I attempt, I spent six minutes, but then I got two stars. So that's good, right? Uh, you can do another replay, that will be another set. I think if you're going all correct, then you don't need to do that. So let's try the one which has the word problem, okay? Uh, especially the one with the enrichment question. So we're gonna see, okay. I'm going to the word problem first. So instruction, always read it. What have been, what have we been learning about this chapter. Let's solidify our knowledge by dividing or divine diving, sorry, by diving into some word problems. <laughs> Example, Alex needs to write his name, name on each of the 49 pages in his notebook. How many individual letters will he write? There are four letters in Alex. So Alex will be right four, means four letters, 49, 49 pages. So you do four times 49 because each page there are four letters. And then this person, I mean, this, this, the, the, this academy is teaching you how to do things easier because four times 49 is kind of hard. But if you convert 49 to 50 minus one, it's easy, right? So because, you know, four times the five, a lot of people can do, which is four times five is 20 and with extra zeros, 200. 200 and then the distributed log says four times one equals uh, four, and there's minus sign, so we bring over 200 minus 496. Oh, that's pretty cool, huh? Oh, hold on, if I go, this little sign means books. So if you click here, it goes to the books, okay? And you would, I don't know whether you notice or not, the panel on the top, after I click the books, it shows a book symbol. So from now on, I can access the library from the top. So the library will be um, which is other books are unlocked. If you want to, you can read it, okay? And then close. And here, a little button, like, you know, play button. It actually goes to theater. So you click here, um, there's a class lesson. Each crayon box has 32 crayons. Now, Mr. T's class, they have 49 boxes of crayons. But over in Miss Q's class, they only have 29 boxes of crayons. We had to figure out how many more crayons are in Mr. T's class than in Miss Q's class. All right, we'll start with Mr. T's class. 49 boxes, each one has 32 crayons. That's a total of 49 times 32 crayons. Then over Miss Q's class, I have 29 boxes of crayons, each one has 32 crayons. That's a total of 29 times 32 crayons. Now let's see, I well, could multiply these out, but I'm gonna read the question. 
How many more crayons does Mr. T's class have than Miss Q's class? Glad I read the question. Because if I hadn't read the question, I'd have to multiply these out. And I don't want to add up 49 32s and 29 32s. That sounds like all kinds of work. But now I read the question, how many more crayons are here than are over here? Well, that's subtraction. We need to subtract Miss Q's crayons from Mr. T's crayons. Now I see these 32s sitting there, and I think, hey, we can factor. Makes this subtraction a lot easier. Factor out the 32. And we have 49 minus 29. That difference times 32. All we did was factor out that 32. Now 49 minus 29, that's 20. So we have 20 times 32. Wait a second. We could have gotten here a lot faster if I'd read that question more closely at the beginning. If I read that closely at the beginning, how many more crayons does Mr. T's class have? And I might have looked back here and said, oh, Mr. T has 49 boxes. Miss Q only has 29. So Mr. T has 49 minus 29, has 20 more boxes of crayons. And those 20 boxes of crayons have 20 times 32 crayons. We could have jumped right here. Wouldn't have even had to do this. I should have read the question closely a little bit sooner. All right, let's finish the problem. 20 times 32, I'm gonna think of that 20 as 10 times two. So I have 10 times two times 32. Well, two times 32, you double 32, you get 64. 64 times 10. Mr. T's class has 640 more crayons. Okay, after we played the class, uh, the video once, then here, little, you know, like camera symbol will show up. Um, from now, you can access any video through here. So that's the beauty, but you have to do once, okay? And then you see that uh, Mr. Richard, his lecture notes, his lecture video is very entertaining. He actually uh, goes through the thinking process with us. So I think uh, I highly recommend people to do read it. I mean, do watch it, sorry. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, you can click this to get started or type, uh, click the bottom, get started. Here, you can always bring this back in case you're confused, okay? So it said, how many hours are there in six days? Oh, here we go. Let's use the pen, pencil, <laughs> scratch pad, right? So it's free. Um, how many hours in a day? 24, wait, what happened? 24, right? And times six. Do we have a strategy? Mm, you could do um, 20. <laughs> 24 is 4 times 6, 24, and 2 times 6, 12. So it's 144, right? 144. Oops. I put a click here. Let me click here. You click again, so nothing, just become a clicker. So then they said, oh, what did they do? Oh, they did um, um, that way. I, I think we should follow that way because uh, um, because that's what they try to teach us, the distributed poverty. Let's do this one, the, the lecture way, okay? The bus ride between the park and Beast Academy takes 12 minutes. I usually highlight the number or circle. Oops, I'm so bad with this thing. Try again. 12 minutes, okay? Walking between the park and the BC Academy takes nine minutes long. Nine, nine times, sorry, nine times. Times is a, is a, is a keyword to tell you multiplication take place as riding the bus. If Winnie rides the bus from the park to BC Academy in the morning and walks back to the park in the afternoon, how many minutes does the total round trip take her? So this problem said that, okay, so you're going 
you go and take the bus in the morning, right? So morning is the bus. And then you're walking. In the bus, you take 12 minutes. And then this walking is nine times. 12 is equivalent to one times 12. So the way you can do it at the end, you say, oh, we're gonna have one plus nine, because total is like 10 times, right? 10 times the walk, the uh, 10 times the bus time. So multiply the 12, and this way it will be easy, because one plus nine is 10, 120, right? Let me see. Oh, good. See, another beauty I found out is that I did the scratch pad, but I don't have to erase. They automatically erase the annotation for us. That's nice. Okay. And then you see that when you get correct, the solution shows up immediately. Okay. Five oranges. See, this is my trick. Every time I see number, I actually uh, highlights. Okay. Five oranges must be squeezed to make a glass of orange juice. Six lemon must be squeezed to make a glass of lemonade. Oh, to make a glass of orange juice. Did I say lemon? Oh, orange juice. And the eight limes, another thing, eight. My circle is not very beautiful. It's confused the thing. So in this case, you know, I cannot control very well. So I'm gonna use underline. Eight limes must be squeezed to make a glass of limeade. All together, how many pieces of fruit must be squeezed to make 16 glasses of orange juice, five glasses of lemonade, and five glasses of limeade? Let's do it together. So 16 glasses of orange juice of 16, right? And then how many orange per glasses? It's um, five, so times five, right? And then five glasses of lemonade. You can put five here times six, okay? Because you need six lemons to make lemonade. And then they said five glasses of lime, lime lemonade. So let's do five. How many each? We need eight. And you need to add them together, right? And then you will see that, huh, everybody has five. Look, five, five, five. So we're going to um, factor the five first. And then say, you know, everybody has five. So I'm going to put 16 plus six. Ooh. plus eight. Okay, 16 plus 16 is 22. 22 plus eight is 30. So this actually turned out to be five times 30, okay? And then you can do this, three, five times three is 15, at additional zero, like times 10, so 150. Okay, and uh, one thing I'm sorry, I actually using notation, which I didn't write multiply here. When, when you say five times eight, you don't have to put in the, 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 the multiply. Actually, it, if you have parentheses here, people actually understand it's five times eight. But as lower grade, I guess you still use a multiply sign there, okay? So this one is 150, right? You know, I have weird annotation on the board. It doesn't bother, I believe. You can still submit, it works, okay? And then so here, it did actually quite similar to what I did. You can see that, right? Okay, let's go to the next. A famous saying is that a cat has nine lives. According to this saying, 
how many total lives do 46 cats have? So what you do is this, you're gonna have um, 46 cats, right? 40, my goodness, times nine. But this seems harder. So what you do is this, you can do 46 times Ten minus one from distributed law, you do this four hundred forty six times ten minus forty six times one, right? So that gives you um four hundred sixty minus forty six. Okay, so now you can do, um, I don't need this. So I'm gonna do 60 minus 46, that gives you 14, so 414. Oops, 414. Okay, let's do a, a sanity check, 14 plus 46. So four plus, four plus six is zero, 10. Five, four plus one is five, five plus 10 is 60, right? So 460, so that's correct. Let's see what they did. Oh, they're, they're telling you uh, there are more than one way to do it. You can do the way I just did it. It's like convert nine to 10 minus one, or you can do um, 40 become 40 plus six. Both way works, okay? Whichever is easiest, easier for you, use that one. John has 13 cows, each of which has four legs and 13 chickens each of which has two legs. All together, how many legs do John's animal have? You take 13, the car, right? 13 times four plus 13 times two. So you factor out the 13, because everybody has a factor of 13, and then four plus two, so this is actually equivalent to, okay, 13 times six. <laughs> and this actually we can do 10 times six plus three times six, right? So 10 times six is 60 and three times six is 18. So the answer is 78, 78. Yeah, so, yeah, this is similar to what we did. Okay, the table below contains point of values for a new game. The beast I had, of the beast, sorry, the beasts made up at lunchtime. Touchdown, seven points, goal, nine points, run, three points. Last week, Winnie's team scored 21 touchdowns and seven goals. How many points did Winnie's team score last week? We have 21 touchdown. That's 21 times seven. We add, add what? Seven goals. So seven times nine. And then because each of the term has seven as a factor, so we can factor seven first. And then this is 21. This is left with nine. And then because 21 at nine, it just gives us 30. So it's very pretty, you know, straightforward, right? So seven times 30. And when you can, when you see uh, things like that with zero at the end, you just do seven times three first. Seven times three is 21, um, extra zero. So 20, 21, zero, two, two, one, zero, okay? And then it shows the solution. This summer, Joanna took two road trips that we that were each 146 miles long, and two road trips that were that were each 194 miles long. All together, how many miles? The term "all together" it means addition. Okay, 
And then instead of two road trip each, see the keywords kind of hint us is multiply because first road trip is 146 and then the 146. Okay, so we're gonna do it now. So it's two road trip, right? How many? 146. And then another two road trip, right? This question is, you know, just, 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 just 190. Oh my goodness, so bad at controlling this pen. Try again. 194. Okay, because there's a factor of two from both, so we're gonna factor two first. 146 plus 194. Okay, here. In this case, this is very close to 200, right? And it's short of by six. Hey, there are six here. So I'm gonna bring the six here, okay? That gave me 200. So 200 plus 140, which is 340, right? So this equivalent to two times 340. And then 34 times two, just double, right? So that gave you 68. And then this extra zero is three over 680. 680. Uh, let's see whether they did the same thing as we, okay? So they did that. Uh, they did an extra here, but you don't have to. It's up to you. If you need it, you do extra steps, but you don't need it, it's fine. Okay, Joseph's class held a bake sale on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. One, two, three, four. They earned three hundred twelve dollars on each day. Ha! Huh, each. That gave me some hint. It means something I probably need to do multiply. During this time period, how many dollars did they earn in total? Ah, total. How many days? Four days. We just did right. And then each day, how much money? Three hundred twelve, right? So this kind of question, actually what they try to tell you is this, how do we make life easier? So we actually do this four times, um, you can break 312 into three, 300 plus 12. So, okay, and plus, so sometimes you factor, sometimes you uh, distribute, so 12. Sorry, I'm, my bad, I didn't follow the same notation. You can type, you can write four times 12, four cross 12, I wrote a four parentheses 12. So here, uh, this is three times four is 12, right? This is right then 12, and how many zero? Two, so we're gonna put two zero then. And the four times 12, usually people can do is 48. See, by doing this, the answer is pretty clear because this has two zero at the end. This is 48. So we can just write it one, two, four, eight. One, two, four, eight. And you can see that they did an extra step. As I said, you don't have to, it's up to you, okay? And then it tells me that it did pretty good because you can answer all of them correctly. And you can read the books here or you can, play this thing, what's that? Oh, that's the enrichment, clever computation, let's see. I believe that's the enrichment. Okay, so let's read the instruction. Clever computations, then wait, hold on, is that enrichment or not? It might not be enrichment, let's go back. Your level four. You unlock the trophy problem in some lessons. You uncover a bonus trophy problem by earning three stars. Click the trophy item, on a lesson to try it. Yes, that's all right. So I was working on this one. Oh, I see now. This little thing, enrichment symbol means this this set has trophy problem. And then if you get a three, star, three stars, then the trophy problem will show up. You can work on it. And I believe the one, if I don't click here, it went to the next problem. When I say clever computation, it's next one. It's not the, the trophy problem for this set. 
do we want to do the trophy problem? So, Grog has 13 gummy bears. Liz has six times as many gummy bears, I mean, gummy alligators, as Grog has gummy bears. Alex has seven times as many gummy dinosaurs, as Liz has gummy alligators. Winnie has half as many. Do you know that? When you read this, you're gonna confuse already. <laughs> so we're gonna type, what, what, what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna write G, G, right? G means grog. G has what? 13, okay? They ask how many candies total. So we don't need to know whether it's bears or alligators or whatever. Just say 13, you know, 13. So this is G. Lee's, I'm gonna write L six times. So, Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm using a mouse pad, not even some, some fancy pen or things like that. So it's very hard. Okay, so X A. His name is A. Has what? Has um seven times as least. Oh, so it's a seven times least, see? These is six times 13, did you see that? One more person, mm, Winnie. Winnie has uh, half as many as these. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna have W. W means Winnie. Winnie has half as many half wool as these, okay? So you write down half. I'm so sorry about my space. As who least? Okay, so write down six times 13. You see, when you list out, convert the word problem into an equation, your life's easier. Then you can do it, right? Then you add them together. So this is equivalent to one times, so six times. And six, seven times six times. So you do this six times seven first, that's equal to 42 times. And here is half of six times 13. You can think of half of six, six candy, half of them, three. So this is equal to three. Times 13. Then you add them together because everybody has 13. Okay, so you can factor out the 13. G has one. Lee's has six. Alex has 42. Winnie has three. And you add them first, then multiply. And observe here. You will see something. Six plus three is nine. Nine plus one is 10. Hey, that's good. So you have 42 plus 10, 52. So you have 13 times 52. In this case, you can do 13 times 50 plus 13 times two. Sorry. Mark here. So 13 times 50. <laughs> okay, here we go. So 13 times 5. Is, um, you can use that trick again. So it's like 10 times five is 50, right? 50 plus uh, 15, 65, 650, 650. It's very hard for me to write. Oh, I guess probably you can type. There's things below, maybe you don't have to write. I'm not sure, okay, I'm sorry. I'm not an uh, expert. 13 times two is 26. 
now you can do it, right? 650 plus 26 is like 50 plus 26, 76. So 676. So I'm going to write down. I don't want this thing to continue. Okay, they said that um, it shows the problem and shows the solution, right? And said, uh, okay, great job. So let's, let's go back to this little sign. You see that little trophy light up? Um, so that means uh, not only we did, we, we unlock the trophy, but we also complete the trophy problem. So that's very nice, right? So you can see that we can jump anywhere you want. Um, I actually recommend you let me see one more thing. I'm going to try, okay? I'm not too sure it works or not. Let's see what I can do the test. Ready to begin a chapter test for this. Once you start the test, all other areas of BA online will be locked until you submit the answer. Okay, that's good. That means uh, our setting by default, um, the way we set it, you can do chapter test without doing any exercise. So this is something I shared in my previous video, um, but I'm not going to... Okay, let me reset. Okay, on my previous video, I mentioned that if you feel uncomfortable or if you feel comfortable, if you are higher grade, but you're new to Business Academy and um, you have some trouble to get used to the environment, I recommend you to go to lower grade. In that case, you don't have to do every single exercise. Just go to the chapter test first, get some, you know, feeling. Um, if you pass the chapter test, fine, then just go to the next chapter test, right? But then let's say, you know, if you are very advanced and you feel like you know all of the problems already, um, you can also go to chapter test to quickly go to the next area. So let's do the chapter test, you can start it. And then, oh, good. They even have test instruction for chapter test. Welcome to the test, do your best and make sure to check your work carefully. Um, check your work, I call that sanity check. Just make sure when you do some addition, you do reverse like subtraction to help, to help you find out whether it goes back to where you started. And then let's see what they said. All other areas of this are locked until you submit your test. You cannot play lessons, watch videos, or read the guide until you are finished. It makes sense, right? Okay. Ask your instructor if there are time limits. Okay, so let's say you are taking the class, uh, this academy class with some, some instructor, then you talk to your instructor, okay? And said so part one has 12 problems. You must at least um, have, you must save at least nine answers before submitting part one. Oh, okay, so you need to complete at least nine. If you do well in part one, you will earn one star and you will be given the option to try part two. Part two has two questions. So two of plus two is 16. You can submit part two as at any time. If you do well in part two, you will earn up to three stars. You can answer the questions in each part in any order. Oh, that's nice. After you answer the question, click the save answer button. This will save your answers and move to the next problem. You can come back later to review or edit your answers. You can edit your saved answers at any time before submitting your work. You will, you, uh, if you make edits, you will need to save your answer again. Let's try. Okay, choose all shapes that with the same area as the rectangle below. So this rectangle is three times five, so it's 15, right? And here it's three times four, which is 12. 12 plus two is, is, oh, is 14, but this is 15, so it's not right. And here you can move this guy here. It becomes the same triangle, same rectangle as this, right? You can see that. So this one's the same. Uh, let's see whether there's multiple answer. This one, you can move this to here, you can move this to here, and then, then that make rectangle again. So it's this one, two, three, eight, this one's correct too. Oh, you said choose all shapes, so there are multiple. How about this one? This one's the one, two, three, four, and this three, if I move this guy here, then this has one extra here, so this is not correct. So save answer, okay. 
And what's the area of the rectangle below? So seven times four, 28. Okay, this one says this makes a shape below. And then each tile has a length of five. What is the area? Okay, so this area, I would, um, let's see, this is five. It's made of square. So this is how many five we have? 20, right? This is 20, 20 times 10. So one, five, two, five is 10. So 20 times 10, wait, hold on, let me write it. 20 comes from four times five, okay? Oh, that's a nice number, 20 times 10, right? That gave me this part. My computer is kind of out of state, out of battery. I probably can finish up very quickly, okay? Um, on the top is 10 times five. Okay, here you can distribute the 10 first, uh, I mean, factor out the 10 first. So you can say 20 plus five is 25, 25 times 10, 250 square centimeter, okay? <laughs> I'm a little concerned that I might have a wrong answer. We'll see. Okay, what's the area of right triangle below? So to solve triangle area, if you don't know the formula, you pretend this is a rectangle. In this case, four times three is the area of the rectangle, which is 12. But because we, you can, you can, you can see that it's half, half, right? So the shaded part is only half of the rectangle area. So 12 divided by two is six. So this one gives me six. Okay, this is um, similar to that one. Uh, you can think as, um, you know, the area of this. You can, you see that? It's like a parallelogram. And then the area is like, um, it's if you sh um, cut it, if you cut it through there, and then, oops, I'm sorry, my pen, I have been asleep. Okay, this part and this part can move together. So, so that's why you have a base of 10, height of five, so that's 50, but then you only have half of that, it's 25. So I did not take the lesson, but I was doing the chapter test. In the dot grid below, each dot is one unit from its nearest horizontal and vertical neighbor. Find the area of the shaded region. Um, this shaded agent region, um, you can see that it's very similar to, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a triangle, right? You can see that. And then the base is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So the base is 10. And the height is one, two, three, four, five. You see, it's five. So the area of this is five times 10, 50 divided by two, so 25 also. Oh, I have a long way to go. <laughs> okay, this question, you can do this way. Um, cutting, you know? Oh my goodness, no pen. And no good drawing to his back, huh? You got it, this, oh, sorry, too so ugly. You can see that there's a, a half, tri it's a triangle on the top and triangle on the bottom. So the top area is four times seven, 28 divided by two is 14. So top is 14. On the bottom is one times eight, eight divided by two is four. So the total is four, 18. I need to be quick. Uh, you, you know, you got my point. You keep going this, and then you will see summary. I only have seven, so they don't let me, but you can see summary, you know, that's good, right? Um, I think, see, oh, I cannot do anything until I finish. So I need to start, I need to continue. Okay, four squares are arranged to make rectangle below. Let me see. 
you know, actually I run out of battery, but I don't have time to get this charger. So I'm going to conclude this video. Um, just let you know, re remark, uh, review. This is the class uh, exercise. This is the books. This are the class videos. Um, I I recommend the order should be for me. I like this kind of order. It's just jump into the exercise. Then I if I don't understand, I will watch the video because that way I will be more like um, question driven, cur more curious. You know. So when I bring question with me to learn, I learn better. And then after that, I come to the exercise. And the beauty of this flow, another way is, is that if the problem is already something I already know, then I don't need to waste my time to watch video, right? That's why I always go to the exercise first, then video. And then what else I wanna say? Oh, oh I use this button a lot. Um, you can navigate to any you know uh, grade you want, any lesson you want. So, that's very nice, right? So best of luck to all, and I have to conclude this video now. Thank you.